Hi, I'm Terence Metz. Welcome to the MG Rush instruction on the flexibility matrix. As you know, MG Rush believes in three concepts or principles to make you effective leading groups leadership, facilitation, and methodology. And our focus today is on a tool that supports the methodology of what's known as the triple constraint theory. Triple constraint theory suggests that of time, cost, and quality, something's got to give. You can't get the biggest, the best, the fastest, the cheapest. But if you went to any executive sponsor, a product owner, and said, of time, cost, and quality, which is most important to you, most of them would say, all of them. So we kind of know this in advance, and we're going to concede that. However, we also know we have to be practical. Therefore, as a project team, we are going to build a flexibility matrix. Flexibility matrix always includes time, cost, and quality. Quality is sometimes viewed as scope. We know by default one has to be high, one low, and the third one will be moderate. You need to define these terms for your situation, for your team. Probably in advance, for example, you can do this through interviews or through a prior meeting. Or you could, in fact, in a meeting or a workshop environment, start off by defining time, cost, and quality for this team for their situation. If we were to, for example, be on a project that's building a software program to replace something that we're currently licensing, we might discuss uh, the fact that timing's pretty important to us because, in fact, the licenses expire January 1st, and we cannot afford to have people sitting around idle on January 2nd. When it comes to defining costs, we would discover there's a number of uh, variables that relate to costs. There's research costs, acquisition costs, maintenance costs, termination costs. We'll look at the, all of them in terms of life cycle costs. And with quality and scope, we know the software has to work, but it's not necessary that the uh, business community have every bell and whistle they desire on day one. We could in fact have a second release 30, 60, 90 days later. We'll define quality as feature set. Having defined them now in this manner, we set about to find out where we have flexibility. Ask the low-hanging fruit question, which is the one where you think we would drive consensus the fastest. I would here, for example, ask, of these three defined in this manner, where do we have the least amount of flexibility? Typical answer there, of course, is time, because we can't afford to have people sitting around idle doing nothing. Now, of the remaining two, where do we have the most amount of flexibility? And the answer there may be scope. They don't have to have every feature they want on day one. Well, by default, cost has to be somewhere in the middle or moderate. We're certainly not done, however. Check marks are not going to resonate with consensus, so we need to convert these. And we need to convert them back into narrative using a facilitator's favorite word, which is the word because. So we have quality or scope is most flexible because and we want the narrative rationale to support that check mark in this case because they don't have to have every feature they want on day one. We're going to convert this check mark whereby we know timing is least flexible because we can't afford to have people sitting around idle doing nothing. And of course that puts costs somewhere in the middle. Now what do you do with this? This becomes what we call wallpaper for the project charter. From this point forward, all of our decision making should be consistent with this. If somebody has the idea that we could save a lot of money and not delay the opening date by more than 30 or 60 days, they'll probably lose that argument because we don't have much flexibility when it comes to having people sitting around being idle. From this point forward, we should in fact give this to our executive sponsor or product owner. Now knowing in advance that if we were to ask them for this, and they would say, why don't you sit down and talk about it, they probably would rather talk to us about this for 30 minutes than to take three minutes and put something in black and white. So we're smart enough to anticipate that. 
we will build it ourselves, but hand it to them. They love to edit. Say, here's the flexibility that we built out, and if you don't like it, change it. We'll go back and make our decisions consistent with it. This wallpaper, as we call it, helps guide consensus and make it much easier to build consistent decisions. It's one of numerous tools that we provide, so please contact us if we can help you build consensus. If we can help you with tools to help prioritize complex situations or to be a better facilitator. We're MG Rush. Thank you.